Temperatures are not expected to go above zero on Monday, meaning some Iowa voters will embrace the cold if they want to caucus. But the big question remains, how could weather impact the turnout? Sierra Sanchez looks into it. We are four days away from the Iowa caucus, and Republican presidential candidates are making their final push. Come out on January 15th. I'm asking you for your vote. But when Iowans cast their vote, the high temperatures outside will be below zero. I think turnout is going to be so important. Raising concerns for Augustana political science professor Paul Baumgartner. The fact that we're going to be seeing very bad weather on caucus night, I think is only going to accentuate the, the worries over turnout. Bumgarner says caucus turnout can be low compared to primaries, but doesn't believe any candidate on the ballot will benefit from the low count of voters. Maybe we'll see a 15% decline, 20% decline, maybe more than what is expected. If there's a specific candidate or a set of candidates that have die hard supporters, very loyal followers. Maybe they will be willing to show up even in the worst of weather. Monday's high projection of minus four degrees will be the coldest on record for a caucus night. But Baumgartner says candidates will continue their efforts to make it a closer race. Candidates like Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley are dumping a lot of, of money and, and doing their best at the very end to, to get that second place finish and hopefully to ensure that they don't get blown out by Donald Trump. Regardless of the weather, a lot of eyes will be on Iowa on Monday. In Moline, Cesar Sanchez, WKD News 8. And if you want to find your caucus location, you can visit our website, wqad.com.